hey guys welcome back to our channel it is marina here and i am so excited to bring you guys along with us today it is vlog day i am here with the entire squad say hi people hi. today is sunday we have a full day ahead of us today and i thought it would be a perfect time to bring you guys along we have quite a number of things lined up that we're going to do today and you are going to be coming along with us okay if it's your first time here you're welcome my name is marina i'm a nigerian based out of saskatoon canada where i make videos where i share life issues and just share my experiences generally for people who are looking to migrate and just share tips and hacks on how you can make the best decisions and settle in quickly so do want to hit the subscribe button join our family as i take you along on this fun day with us so come along so first stop walmart i'm just stopping to pick up a few things i have a drive through baby shower later in the day um the province is opening up a lot of activities have opened up but we're still not allowed to gather in large groups everybody's observing physical distancing so it's going to be a drive through baby shower where we all just stop do it outside literally so i'm here to just pick up a few things that i need for that um a couple of items and the gift for the baby so that's what we're doing first i've never vlogged in vlogged in a grocery store so i'm hoping that this won't be very awkward should i should i not okay let's try <laughs> i don't know what the sex of the baby is so i don't know if i should get anything maybe i should just get some clothes in neutral colors to be on the safe side how's everybody doing today just running over to the baby section maybe i should get a box of diapers too never go wrong with diapers I'll go heading out of Walmart now. Hi. Next stop, next stop. Um, I'm making a quick stop at Dollarama. Dollarama. Uh, thankfully, it's in the same complex. I'll show you guys. So yeah, that's Dollarama in the other side of the road. So I'm just going to stop there. I need to get some balloons and just some small, small things for decoration. Cause I'm supposed to decorate the cars. A lot of the garden centers are open now because people are planting grass and flowers every other person has a garden except of course <laughs> in the Epteg household Mr. Epteg what do you have to say about that why don't we have grass and, sure and colorful <laughs> flowers in our house <laughs> no comment Dollarama I'm just going to make it a quick stop I'm to pick up balloons really quickly and I will be out in a jiffy I left uh, Dollarama already. We're just making a quick stop at the car wash. My children really like this part because it's like a touchless car wash that you're just driving and the yeah, it does this thing. So let's see if we we'll have any reactions this time because there's always screaming when this happens. <laughs> and even me too, I've come to really like just what's she doing? The room is too dirty. Isn't that the whole idea? Like this person is parked in front of a car wash and she's washing. Can you see that? I cannot for the life of me understand what is going on. Some really dirty. And the car wash with all that pressure will not clean it but the one she's doing will. Yeah. What do I know? Wow. So that's what you're supposed to do to the car. once upon a child once upon a child is a clothing store for kids but they sell um, gently used clothes so they're not brand new there are people bring clothes that their kids have outgrown sell it and then buy some more so my kids are going really fast I don't see the point buying just only brand names and brand new clothes for them so most times for their clothes that they use around the house just to knock about things I buy from them nice right okay. so these are coats 
some of these things have brand new tags on them so the fact that they're gently used does not mean they're all useless they're really nice stuff and they're um, arranged according to the size so for anybody in Saskatoon and you're looking for easy quick cheap relatively cheap ways to uh, shop for your children this might be a good option I just want to get a few what am I looking for size um, just some tops and a few leggings for Daphne and Jeremy too this store is new the one that I used to know used to be across the street they, they carry a lot of things guys a lot if you're in Saskatoon it would be worth it to check this place you might just find things that you do not know were here trust me it's a lot of stuff the store is huge so I'm just gonna be picking up some items for uh, my children they have outgrown everything because we've been at home and they have been eating like rats so now we need uh, <laughs> new stuff for them so I'm just going to look around and pick a few things and I will catch up with you guys later okay some of these clothes are so cute I almost want to buy them for myself you will hardly even tell that some of the clothes have been used anyway so this is it I'll catch you guys later when we're done from here uh, talk to you downtown we're going to get some street ice cream this is downtown Saskatoon I'm wondering why is this busy on a Sunday it smells fresh right I love this one. that's the ice cream spot I hope and pray they're open I see a window open I hope oh yes they are this place has one of the best ice cream in Saskatoon if you have not had ice cream from this place well let's not complain okay we're already wow. here we're going to get ice cream guys and we can take some pictures too yeah we will shut the windows and there are people who play music randomly on the streets like and then people give them money some of them play really nice music Okay guys, so we're here at downtown now. Say hi. Hi, we are downtown now. Say hi. <laughs> we're trying to get some ice cream. Can you people see my fashionista daughter? See her glasses. Even mommy does not have this type of style. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let's go and get ice cream guys. This is Delta Best Pearl. Street music. Okay. Flavors. Look at my Tories, Bobo. Do you guys see what's on my husband's neck? We have two YouTubers in my family. <laughs> Say hi. Hello. <laughs> so other place now. We're just gonna wait to pick it up. This is like the wait area to to pick it up. And there are chairs that they put for people to sit down. Yeah, I like. Ambience is really nice. Really cool. Order is ready now. Vanilla. This one's uh, cookies and cream for Daphne. And Jeremy wanted plain old vanilla. And I am having root beer. Guys, I've had root beer as a drink, but never as ice cream. We're going to find out how this tastes. Let's see. Okay. Wow. That is so good. Maybe you want to try root beer. Root beer. I'm telling you. That's a flavor of ice cream. I like, guess is a first. Hmm. This is so good, guys. Okay, so I'm just gonna take some time to enjoy this yumminess. Spadina Crescent. A lot of people come here to swim. No, you can't swim in this river. It's just for fun. This is the University Bridge. That's where we're on now because the University of Saskatchewan is somewhere close by. The houses on that road over there very expensive because they overlook the river. This is the hospital, the Children's Hospital, Jim Patterson and Royal University Hospital is somewhere in there. That's what all of this is. And then University of Saskatchewan. Right. Okay, so this is the U of S. These buildings are inside. These buildings are right inside. So this is all the U of S. 
maybe one day if I have more time I'll come drive in here and do like a proper tour just to show you around what the university campus looks like it's all in U of S to do like a proper tour of the university i can do that if you would like that please leave a comment below say yes and if i get how many yeses you know those people that used to go and look for a job on twitter and say how many retweets for you to employ me <laughs> so how many yeses for us to do the tour if you want me to do that please leave a comment below and i'll be glad to this community is called rosewood it's one of the it's a new one it has a lot of new buildings a lot of buildings are uh, construction is going on new apartments it's a very nice place to live so this is where the drive-through baby shower is going to take place i just thought i should show you guys to show you an idea of what like a typical community would look like it would have a school it would have uh, a public school a catholic school you will have like a number of strip malls like this one this is a small one you have like strip strip malls. You have like a um, what they call like a grocery store, a large grocery store. But the one for Rosewood is in the next community called Lakewood. Because it's new, they don't have like a new grocery store yet. But you have like just mini stores like this in a strip mall. You typically have everything you need in here, so that people don't go too far from home okay. yeah. so right now we're at the road of the house where we're going to have the baby shower, baby shower. thank you jeremy we're at the road of the house where we're going to have the baby shower and we're just waiting for what's going to happen from here the number of cars <laughs> behind us it's supposed to be like a mini convoy show you guys everything because i mean i don't know if these people want to if a number of them would like to appear on camera so we're just going to enjoy it. yeah i have to ask them first before i can oh, video mean, them and mean, yes for oh, all of this okay, okay, okay. so i'm going to have no, to stop you. filming now and uh, i'll catch up with you guys uh, much later okay the baby shower over that was so much fun we are now heading to babe where are we going uh, the mall Okay, so we're going to meet Town Mall to try to get something to eat. Yeah, we're going to Town Mall to get something to eat. Yeah, we, I'm yes, we are hungry. What? So we're heading to the mall to go and get something to eat, and I will take you guys along. Okay, hopefully most of the stores in there have opened. This is typical. They'll typically have like a park and just general play areas for people with families. So yeah, this is Rosewood community. This is what a community typically would look like. Jeremy. That's where we're going. Midtown Mall. Let's try to get some food and see which stores are open. Mm -hmm. And we will call it a day. That's the thing with summer in Saskatoon. There's always so much construction going on. Cactus Club Cafe. By now, I'm sure I should have shares in this place because <laughs> it's my absolute favorite restaurant in, in uh, Saskatoon. Absolute favorite. Anyway, that's not where we're going today. So we just got here and so we're here at Midtown Mall and they are closed. Their hours have been adjusted. It is now 11 to 6 and it is currently 7 p.m. It is 7 p.m. I see how bright it still is. It's 7 p.m. so they're closed. We're all hungry. We're going to now look for where to go and eat. Right, mister? Mm -hmm. Where are we going? Oh, yeah. yeah, we're all hungry. Next is the quest for food. If I'm able to find something, I'll let you guys know. But if not, we might just have to go back home and go and try to look for something to eat. I don't know. I don't know where we're going now. I'm just going to enjoy the ride, honestly. This is cinema. I can't wait for all of these things to open, Sha. 
I've started identifying the things I want to do when everything finally opens. Anyway, guys, I'll show you guys what we we'll eventually get up to if we find food. Okay. Really, we're home now. Yes. We're going to we're going to eat now because we're so so hungry. Yeah, we are hungry. Hey guys. So we're home now we just got in the last time i checked in with you guys we were looking for what to eat well we couldn't find the restaurant that we could go in to sit down um, most of the ones that we wanted were already closed so we decided to get something to bring home and and we did well the children wanted food um chicken strips uh, chicken and fries and we got them from popeyes so yeah that's what dinner is going to be Fred and I are going to have some Asian kind of food. We got some noodles, some uh, noodles and chicken in there. So that's what dinner is going to be. So I just thought to stop by here. I like this part. I like the light here. Wow. Anyway, guys, so I just thought to, um, oh yeah, Fred adjusted some settings in my camera and it looks, I like, I like how it looks. <laughs> anyway, guys, so I'm going to be ending the vlog here. Say hi, mister. Hello, hello. <laughs> So thank you very much for watching the vlog. If you're yet to subscribe to the channel, please do well to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you know every time I post a new video. Until I come your way in my next video, it's your girl Marina saying thank you and have an amazing day. Bye-bye.